Hi everyone, thank you so much for um, checking out this video. I hope that it helps you. I'm gonna do something a little different today. I decided to do a process video on journaling um, a page. So today I'm gonna be working on Jeremiah 29:11, and it's a very um, popular verse. It says, for I know the plans I have for you declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not harm you, plans to give you a hope and a future. Um, so I'm going to actually block off my verse here with some washi tape, and I just like to do that. That way you can still see um, the words after I add color to the background. Okay, now that I've masked off my verse, um, I just take my washi tape and cover my verse and the way that I I take it and I get a little bit of the stickiness off you can do that by um, putting it on your pants leg or on your arm and just peeling up a little bit of that sticky so that it doesn't peel your your paper up or tear your paper so now I'm going to work on a geometric kind of pattern and the way I'm gonna do that is by taking another type of washi you could do a thin washi or a thick washi. I've decided to go with this thickness today. Um, and so what I'm gonna do is just randomly place the washi across my page in places like this. So I'm going to put this on fast forward and cover the whole page. taped off with washi you can add in smaller sections if you want to like I did up here um, or you could just stick with um, doing the big sections um, I decided to uh, do as many small sections as I could and now I'm gonna pull out some distress oxides so I'm going with the palette like greens and blues um, so I've got some distress oxides here I've got mowed lawn lucky clover peacock feathers mermaid lagoon and broken china so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to have them all out over here. And I'm going to just start with one and I'll go in one at a time and add them. So I take a, let me move this so y'all can see it. I take a blending tool and I get some color and I just am going to go in and color this section. And you wanna be very careful not to go into your other sections. If you use really thin washi tape, this is um, even more difficult, but as long as you're careful around the edges, you just make sure you get your corners really well, but don't get into your other sections. Okay, so I'm gonna put this on fast forward and do the rest of the page.
just want to check and make sure there's no corners that need touched up or if you got color from another one on the other section just go in and touch that up um, I was doing that kind of as I was going so if you notice it quickly go ahead in with the color like if I would have gotten green on here just go in with the blue quickly and try and blend that out which is what I did up here a couple of times so now we're gonna take off the washi and um, the way I do that is I just slowly peel them up so carefully peel them up so I'm gonna put this on fast forward and peel them all up So there you have it. There's our geometric kind of print that we have and I'm loving the way it's looking. Now I'm going to let this dry a little bit and then I'm going to add in some stamping and some stickers. Okay guys, so now we're going to do some stamping and I've pulled up some stamps from um, Sweet and Sassy Stamps and I love alpha stamps. They're super fun to work with and just add another element to your page. So what I wanted to focus on is I read today that um, from this verse and in a story that um, plans excite us. So when we find out about a plan, we get excited. We're excited to plan that. But then when we're in the process, that's not so much fun. It doesn't excite us because the process is the time where we grow and we change. And sometimes that's not easy and sometimes it's not fun. So what I want to journal on my page today is to trust God's plan for us over how we feel in the process. So that's what I'm going to focus on stamping out and writing, um, writing in here. So I'm going to speed this up and just do some stamping and do some writing and um, show you how to do that. What you'll need to stamp if you're using clear stamps like this is a clear um, acrylic block and some ink. didn't before I stamped. I used um, Sweet and Sassy stamps and then I used VersaFine ink and I used some alpha stickers from By the Well for God. And that is what 
this part of my page looks like. I'm going to grab some washi tape um, and outline my verse. Let me go ahead and peel that up so you can see that. And I did tape off more than just 2911. I like to tape off a few verses before and a few verses after so that I can... Can remember the like context of it. I'm just trying to find some washi tape here that I like. I'm gonna do this one. So all I do for this is I pull some washi tape off and I just tape over. Um, what I want to outline. So I picked this, um, it's kind of like a blue polka dot. And then I just tear it. Sometimes I cut it if I wanna be more precise, like this one is too long. So just trim that up a little bit. And then I will outline this side. And then this last one. And then I will probably go in and underline 2911 just to remember that was the key verse. But let me go ahead and show you guys. Is how that page turned okay guys I just wanted to tell you thank you so much for checking out my video I have some other um, really fun videos in my youtube channel with distress oxides and um, different other techniques so if you wanted to check that out you totally can one last look at my page thank you so much for checking my video out I encourage you to trust God's plan for you over the way you feel during the process because the process sometimes can be hard, but it's so worth it. Thank you all so much. I'll see you soon.